What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over my favorite chat GPT tip. So I recorded my entire last chat GPT series going over chat GPT 3.5. I've recently upgraded to chat GPT 4, well several months ago, and I've been using the default and the browse with Bing with GPT 4. The one thing I always find is if you enter, if you're looking for some type of content written or you're looking for a social media message or looking for a blog post, the chat GPT writing style just doesn't seem like it's natural and doesn't seem like it's from a human writer. You can tell that it's been written by chat GPT. Now this isn't the case every single time and if you use really good prompts and you're using outlines, you can get really good articles. But if I come in here and I just say, can you write a 500 word blog article about keyword research for SEO? It's not going to give you the best possible blog post that you can get if you're looking for a blog post about a specific topic. So my first example here, and I've been doing this for my website beachfrontdecor.com where it's all about beach home decorations. So one of the things I did is I just came here and I asked for an article. If we scroll to the top here, can you write a unique blog post about sailboat decor that is 500 words? So even the first sentence, as any aficionado will tell you, there's a unique charm in the world of sailing that effortlessly transcends from open sea to shore. So if you read through a blog post like this, it's it's not that it's poorly written. It just doesn't seem that it's like written naturally by a human. It doesn't really even seem like it's about sailboat decorations. So one of the things that I've done a lot with ChatGPT recently is I've gave it some of my written content as writing samples, and then I ask ChatGPT to basically imitate my writing style. So I've already done this over here, and you can see I have these for farmhouse goals, I have it for my drawing website, and I have it for beachfront decor. Don't really use this as much with Surfside PPC, but I can tell you, if you're using this for any of the websites you own, it's gonna be much easier to come up with content that looks much more consistent and looks more well-written than the standard article that you're getting from ChatGPT. So while it's really impressive that ChatGPT can put together an article about sailboat decor, and parts of this aren't too bad, when you actually read through it, it's not something anybody's ever going to read, and it's not something that's overly helpful to somebody who's actually looking up anything about a specific topic. So if we come over here, one of the things that we can do, two things I like to do. So at the very top here, what I generally start these prompts with, and a lot of times I'll just keep them in the same exact thread, and then every time I'm looking for more written content, I just give ChatGPT more of my writing samples. So basically all I say is you're gonna use the writing samples below to create the beachfront decor writing style. You can name your writing style whatever you want. You can call it the beachfront decor AI model. Read the following writing samples so you can use similar vocabulary and writing style when you are writing. So basically writing sample one, and I copied and pasted just the written portion of a blog article. Writing sample two, copy and pasted a written portion of this blog article as well. And then as we come to the bottom, I put, I will send two more samples, and then I'll request a blog article using that writing style. Do you feel like you can use the beachfront decor writing style to write blog posts? The one thing I'm gonna say immediately is they're already using my writing style, because I can just tell by the way they're writing, it's much more similar to the way that I write, which is much more simple. I don't use kind of this flowery, flowery language you saw with the sailboat decor article. And while that's well-written, to me, it's just not how internet content is meant to be consumed. Most people are not going to an article looking for the example I showed you earlier with my sailboat decor article. So generally what I'll do is I'll come down here and I'll send a couple more writing samples. So again, you're gonna use the writing samples above and below to continue to create the beachfront decor writing style. Read the following writing samples so you can use similar vocabulary and writing style when you are writing. Two more writing samples and I copied and pasted this one here. Keep coming down, I have writing sample number two. And then as we come all the way to the bottom, if we come down here, you can see I have end beachfront decor writing style samples and then write a detailed blog post. So this is just a very basic prompt to write a detailed blog post that is at least 700 words using my writing style about this topic. So I have my topic here, coastal family room decorating ideas and inspiration with these focus keywords. So a very basic prompt for chat GPT. And what I can tell you is reading through this compared to the other article is much better and also, I generally am not copying and pasting content directly from ChatGPT. So what I can do is kind of go sentence by sentence and look whether or not there's certain things I want to change. So if we do come down here, and we just look right here. So decoding coastal family room color schemes. So I probably still change this headline here. But when it comes to coastal family room color schemes, think about the natural hues you might see at the beach. Soft whites, sandy beige, a range of blues, and gentle grays are all common choices. These colors not only represent the sea, sky, and sand, but they also help to promote a sense of calm and relaxation. Perfect for a family room. 
To me, that reads like it's a natural blog article, and I would copy and paste this and put it on my blog without thinking twice about it. Whereas the other article I showed you without any prompts, I would absolutely not do that. So I've done this for farmhouse goals. I've done it for my drawing website. And the reason why I think it's a lot better to actually give some writing samples to ChatGPT is that it actually can use a consistent voice if it's actually writing content for you. You can use this for blog articles. You can use it for social media posts. You can use it for email newsletters. Any content that you're writing to people, I would highly recommend just keeping a thread like this one keep sending your writing samples you can continue to copy and paste the same exact writing samples and keep telling chat gpt this is the beachfront decor writing style and every time you write something for me i want you to use that writing style the way that i do this is i go to google search console so i went there for beachfront decor i went through the last three months and i looked at my pages with a lot of impressions pages with a lot of clicks and basically looking for blog posts so these two at the top are blog posts if we keep coming down, another blog post down here, another blog post. So I opened up some of those blog posts on my website, just literally copied the written content on these blog posts. You can also, if you're using ChatGPT4, tell ChatGPT to actually browse your website and use the writing from your website to create a unique writing style. And then all you need to do is use the prompts to come up with whatever content you need to come up with. This is very helpful, especially if you're coming up with a lot of blog articles or you're going back and you're updating old blog articles. Sometimes for some of these blog articles, I'll go back and just make sure that I've gone through basically different styles people can choose, different types of products they can choose. It really depends on what it is. Sometimes you answer questions, so come up with five frequently asked questions. But all I did was copy and paste content from these different blog posts, and then I just entered them right here in ChatGPT and said, use this writing sample to come up with the beachfront decor writing style. So to recap the video, my favorite chat GPT tip right now is to create your own writing style so that you can have a consistent voice. Copy the written blog content from your popular blog posts or any blog post. The other thing you can do is if you don't have a lot of blog posts written yet, or if you're really struggling to rank above your competitors, go over and get writing samples from really popular websites. So the spruce.com is a massive home and garden decoration website. If I go through some of the more popular blog posts, I could literally copy and paste the content, send it to ChatGPT and say, copy this writing style. It doesn't necessarily have to be your writing style. It could be anybody's writing style. So this is really helpful for people who struggle with writing and struggle to come up with some of these ideas on their own. And trust me, it gets very difficult as you write more and more blog content. So copy that written blog content from your popular blog post. Give ChatGPT at least two writing samples. A lot of times I'll give ChatGPT four or five different writing samples of blog posts. What's really good is if you have a consistent style in the way that you write your blog post, so you use a consistent outline, ChatGPT will basically copy that outline as well. So if, for example, for my beach decor website, sometimes I go over how to choose these products, different themes they can choose from, different colors, different styles. And then you have your introduction, your conclusion, maybe a few more paragraphs in there, but basically what ChatGPT is gonna do is take that outline that you consistently use for your blog post and they're going to just imitate that outline as well. Paste that blog content into ChatGPT and name your writing style. Make sure you continue to tell ChatGPT, this is the name of this writing style and you're going to imitate exactly how I write to write upcoming blog posts, upcoming content. Ask ChatGPT to write a topic focused blog post with focus keywords Make sure you use an outline if you want the best results. So I'll show you another example in a minute. And then continue using your writing samples when you are requesting blog posts, product category descriptions, whatever it may be. And then when you're editing and rewriting blog posts, it's much easier and you have a more consistent voice. So the reason that I started to create my own writing style is because I would come over to ChatGPT and I would get blog posts or content or product categories that are written like this. And to me, it's not anywhere near the way that I've written on my website for years. So I started Beachfront Decor all the way back in 2016. So when you think about all the content I've written on Beachfront Decor, it's obviously got a consistent voice. So if I start to change that voice and it becomes something that isn't really natural sounding and doesn't sound like me at all, then it's not going to be basically what Beachfront Decor was built on. So rather than doing this, continue to send the writing samples. And the other thing that you can do, so you can see I wrote sent more writing samples here. And this one I said, write a detailed blog post that is at least 700 words using the beachfront decor writing style, using the following target keyword, topic, and outline. 
So I have target keyword, beach wood decor, topic here. And then I have my outline, introduction, what is, be de decorating ideas, how to choose, type, styles. So go through the entire outline, all of the different keywords you want to target. You can say my target keyword is here, and here are some secondary keywords I want you to target as well. It becomes much easier to actually get some of those keywords within your blog articles. You're definitely going to see much better results doing this, especially if you like your own writing style. Now, there are still going to be immerse yourself in the serene tranquility of coastal living with beach wood decor. To me, that's still not exactly how I would write. So sometimes you may have to take an existing article, send more writing samples, and say, can you please rewrite this? I'll also go through the content that ChatGPT writes, and I will go sentence by sentence and basically change things around. So it's not like I'm copying and pasting thousands of articles at a time, but where this can be really useful is if we come back over here again, I have all of these different product categories. So every product category has a unique description, and I've also been adding a little bit more content to my actual product category pages at the very bottom of the pages, just to kind of go over some standard things for, for example, beach shower curtains. What are some different colors, styles, themes, things like that. So I'll put that at the bottom of my product category pages. So when I come over to ChatGPT and I'm doing that in bulk, it's much easier to say, use the beachfront decor writing style and write product category descriptions for the following 10 categories. Give all the categories, I get 10 category descriptions quickly and easily, and I don't have to sit there and write 10 product category descriptions, which would normally take me an hour, I can now do in about 10 minutes. So. If you have any questions about this, about creating your own writing style with ChatGPT, it's not gonna be perfect, but if you keep sending samples, you continue to use that same thread and try to find your writing that has ranked the best, try to find your writing that, honestly, that you're the most proud of, you've worked the longest on, because you're gonna get better outputs by doing this. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.